Yeah. So yeah. we do auto conversions. We've been doing the Hondas for about 13, 14 years now. And it's been a great success for us. Okay. So what uh, what kind of car would this engine be out of? This one here is our 1.8 liter, 150 horsepower, and it comes out of the Honda HRB. So it's a okay. port injected engine, and then we obviously change out the wiring harnesses to a Tefcel aviation grade wiring harness, our own computer, a lot of the mounting, and where the magic happens is our gearboxes. So that's something that's been well proven in our design, and it's been great for all of our horsepowers, and we have a three gear gearbox with helical cut heat, heat forged gears and then we have our dampening system and our flywheels and you know we supply pretty much everything firewall forward for over 40 different airplanes and we have over 1400 engines in the field and about 900 of them are actually in Zenith airplanes alone. So. Okay so how else do you modify the engine then? We actually don't change the internals at all. Yeah. So we actually, you know, we use what Honda did and we take advantage of that. And okay. So we don't change the internals. You can get your oil filter from the auto parts store, your fuel filter from the auto parts store, your belts from the auto parts store, you know, and then we have our parts made by the thousands. So, you know, everything's always readily available. And with mass production, lead time is two to three weeks. All your parts, you don't have any availability issues and stuff like that. So Very cool. you also wind up with a price due to mass production, um, quite a bit lower than your typical airplane engine. Yeah. So our 150 horsepower here is $15,600. And that's with the gearbox? Yep, that's oh. everything here. The only thing you'll buy separate is firewall floor components. And still, typically, by the time you're done, you're still lower than a traditional aircraft engine. Okay. And then what's the um, what's the ratio here on the gearbox? It's a 2.33 to 1. Okay. And one of the huge benefits of the gearbox here is that, especially in a stall-style aircraft, this engine produces over 650 pounds of thrust. So that's really great for short takeoff and landings. Our big 195 turbo engine that we have over here, okay. we have in our own Xena Super Duty, and we took off in 44 feet with no wind conditions. So wow. you get those thrust numbers up there, which are great for this style airplane. Okay. So what are some of the en other engines we have on display here? That's the same one. Oh, same thing? Install. Okay. So here you could see the, uh, the prop shaft mount. And then, uh, again, one of the same. And this one here is our 130 horsepower. This one is a 1.5 liter Honda Fit engine. It comes, um, it's direct injected, whereas in the 150 is port injected. Okay. So one of the benefits is that is the fuel sprays directly onto the cylinders. And we get all the benefits in the airplane that you necessarily don't get in the car. Some people are worried about uh, carbon buildup and stuff like that in direct injected engines. Yeah. But you know, due to EPA standards, just like you would do in your Continental or your Lycoming, it just goes overboard. So we don't have those carbon buildup issues. We get the, the really good efficiency out of the engine. We get the really good power out of the engine. So this is one of our most popular models. It's um, actually on display over at the Zenith booth as well in my personal uh, Zenith 650 that we flew over. Okay. So, you're probably, our other engines. you're probably getting a little better uh, fuel economy that way too with the direct yeah, injection. So I would. In my yeah. Zenith 650, I go 145, 150 miles an hour, and about at 10,000 feet, and we're burning less than five gallons per hour. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, so efficiency yeah. is the name of the game, and you can burn any type of auto fuel in it as well, and you know that's that's really great for people all over the world. Yeah. Okay. And move you, it along. Yeah, if you want to move over, so this is another one of our 130s, and this is our newest addition here. Yeah. This is something that we've kind of shown, kind of preliminary, but three, this is our 140 huh? horsepower turbocharged, and it's our first kind of move kind of in, to a GM. So a lot of the stuff is the same design, the gearbox, but it's a three-cylinder versus a four-cylinder, right. and it's turbocharged naturally from the vehicle. It's not aftermarket turbocharger. We're not really big into aftermarket turbochargers. It starts messing with the reliability of the engine, but this is set up for that. So it'll actually start coming in at 200 pounds versus our 130 horsepower that's 220 and so you wind up with more power a turbo and you're going to wind up at less weight so it's going to be really great for some of the light sport airplanes or people that maybe have a rotax 912 but they want more power without the exponential cost of maybe a rotax 915 because yeah. this one here is 16,000. okay and then the final is the big boy here yeah we can move on over to our big guy here and this is Walk around. Sure. This is our Viking 195 Turbo. Okay. This one comes out of the 1.5 liter Honda Accord. Again, we're back to a four-cylinder engine, and this one's also turbocharged naturally from the vehicle. 
Okay. No, 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 no. So that's kind of our biggest engine. We don't really have any higher engines than this one. Yeah. This is what we have in our personal airplane. And uh, it goes in a lot of the Cena Super Duties and some of the bigger planes. Okay. And do you guys manufacture these gearboxes yourself? Yes, we do. We don't do the actual machining. That gets outsourced, but it's all our design and it's all put together in house. Very cool. Okay. Any future projects so coming up you want to talk about? Or? Um, we have the GM there. That's kind of our biggest thing. That's We're hoping thing. to have that out by the end of the summer, by early fall. So by Oshkosh, we should have hopefully it mounted in an airplane and moving a little further along with it. So it'll be a great replacement for a lot of people. It's something in an affordable market. So it's not, you know, only to the big guys out there. So that's always our goal is affordable aviation. All right. Sounds good. Hope to see you guys at Oshkosh with that installed. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.